pumping out big event after big event. The main event is in the lightweight division. Islam Makachev is going to make his first defense of the title against the pound for pound king. Alexander Volkanovsky, Volkanovsky on his home turf in Australia. He's coming up and wait for this fight. Before we break down the actual who's going to win, who's going to lose sort of thing, uh, Habib Nurmagomedov is retired now from MMA. He's not going to be in Islam's corner. How do you see that affecting the fight? First of all, I just want to say there's so many people in the MMA space that can't pronounce Islam Makashev, and here you are, Joe Fortenbaugh, just absolutely nailing Makashev, pointing out to the producers or whoever it is, <laughs> you got it right, perfect <laughs> syllabic emphasis there. But yes, I do think that to dismiss this as a factor would be a little bit ignorant. You know, I can't sit here and say if Islam Makashev's minus 390 that if Khabib's in his corner, he goes to minus 420 or maybe he goes down to minus 290 in my mind because Khabib's not there. Javier Mendez is a stabilizing, unifying force and has been the head coach for Islam Makashev for years. Now, as some of our audience might know, Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov was the longtime chief corner of Islam Makashev, Khabib's lay father, and he has not been there, obviously, for the last several big fights for Islam. I think this is maybe more of a factor during fight week than it is on fight night. And maybe for other guys that Khabib corners, like Bilal Muhammad, he has more value during those 25 minutes or fewer in a championship fight. But I just think this is like Islam's brother, his right-hand man. And so that absence gonna, is going to be felt just dicking around in the back and going through some of the pre-fight routine and Khabib has always been there. But I think Javier Mendez is certainly capable of handling that corner. And candidly, and I hate to say this, right, we have NBA, NFL, varying degrees of coaches, leagues out there. But I do believe Islam Akashev, if he didn't have corner men and just had a cut man, he'd probably go beat most of the guys in the world. So. 